My name's Paul Harrison and I'm the Director of the Emergency Response Program here at the Sutton Road Driver Training Centre. The purpose of this facility here is, is to provide education and training for, for the transport industry generally. Today is about emergency response and behind me is a simulated environment of a tanker that's rolled over. Uh, we have some people here from the industry uh, learning how to respond to such incidents. We do this in a controlled environment and everything, as I say, is simulated, including the product that's being transferred is merely water with a non-toxic dye put into it to make it look like fuel. We have the New South Wales Fire Brigade in attendance who provide incident control and those sorts of measures, plus we have assessors here. There are legal requirements on organisations to be able to deal with this sort of thing and so the course is designed not only to meet those legal obligations but to provide that capability. What's happened is a truck has rolled over with petrol in it and what we're doing in this simulation is recovering that petrol from the tanker, obviously for safety reasons and for financial reasons. Obviously if petrol is worth a lot of money. There are set ways of being able to do that. However, when a, when a truck rolls over, uh, often uh, it's a requirement that we actually drill the side of the tanker and, and put a spear into it very carefully, obviously. Uh, we follow a lot of safety, safety procedures before we do that. And what we do is we lower a lance into the side of the petrol tank after we've drilled a hole in it and we pump the product from that tanker to another road tanker that's standing by to receive the fuel. This is all monitored by Fire Brigade to make sure that everybody's safe and, and uh, there are no mistakes. The biggest problem obviously is static electricity. So what we have to do is earth and bond the vehicles to the ground using stakes that go into the ground and we earth all the vehicles together including the pumps that we use and that sort of thing so that so that the fuel doesn't generate any static electricity and obviously cause any injuries. Everything inside inside the zone that's established by the fire brigade is driven by compressed air so that there's no ignition sources for the fuel. So the pump is driven by compressed air and it's a diaphragm pump in that it just it just moves a rubber diaphragm in and out and pumps product or, or fuel in this case from the tanker to, to the receiving tanker. Fire services uh, in whatever jurisdiction would expect that when industry responders come to a scene that uh, they're very capable of, of doing whatever's required of them to assist those uh, emergency services in, in retrieving the fuel or the dangerous product from the stricken tanker. The way we're doing that is that at the completion of this course, uh, industry will provide an accreditation to the industry responder that then alerts that fire brigade when they arrive on scene that they've had fully competency-based trained people attend these courses. So, you know, it is important for the fire brigade to know that when you arrive on the scene that you actually know what you're doing when you do arrive.